Now we will do the old city walking tour. Inside of the old city, we have 85 sites, but any tour company cannot cover all these 85 sites, and also there is no need to cover all of them because 22 of them are must, and only two of them are functional. So no need to cover all uh, non-functioning must, and also uh, we have some underground water reservoirs. We have some small warehouses, some houses of rich merchants and traders which were divided to several apartments and given to the local people to live inside. So that's why during this tour we will see almost 30 sites. If you have any questions you can ask, if not we will start the tour. Yeah, what's, the, what's the majority of the Muslim, like is that Shiite? Mostly Shiites, yeah. Mostly Shiite. Yeah. No, this is not good. Palace Museum, but uh, it is dating to 17th, 18th century, so that's why I don't prefer, uh, like, don't recommend you to visit this building, but uh, because there is not enough exponents. But if you want to visit the place uh, inside of the old city as a museum, you can try to see the Shirvan Shah's Palace, which dates to from 12th century until 15th century, and working every day up to 7 p.m. But if you can have a look to this side, from here you can see the biggest caravansala inside of the old city, which is now the function of the Shah Palace Hotel. Usually in the ancient times we have had cities were pretty small and uh, the main transport for travelers were horses on camels and with these animals, Soviet encyclopedia building. And in front of this building you can see monument to Hassan Bey Zardabi, who was famous as Bojani poet and writer and also founder of the Farmers Press from 1875 who was writing about the problem of the world. in here and have a look to the second and the last floor you will see house of cats because usually mm -hmm. one of these house used to feed a lot of street cats because cats are the most efficient animals against the rats and mice so uh, even nowadays in some places you can see the locals who are putting the water for these animals who are feeding these animals even the management of the old city building houses for these animals because they are the most efficient animals but about the owner of this building, we have some uh, legends like when one of the kids sold and he died. So that's why this monument placed in here to the honor of this uh, kid and cats. If you can have a look uh, to the ground, you can see cobblestone, which was before existed in here. But during the Soviet Union period, they added the... Uh, yeah. Like balcony, I mean. The building yeah, yeah, from yeah. 1996 to 1998. From here, you can see Azerbaijani movie character from Azerbaijani movies with the name of uh, Mashadibat, who was famous silk trader, they usually wear this kind of big bellies, this kind of purses, and this kind of hats from the lambskin. And uh, they used to get married with young girls because we were rich people. From here, you can see a mother in law character from Azerbaijan movies, too. inside of the old city from here you can see and uh, drink the water if you want but, uh, yeah but you can feel a little bit stone taste but it is available for drinking so safe. Uh, created as a caravansaray uh, for the trains who were coming from Bukhara to Uzbekistan before was working as a 
shopping mall for souvenirs, now closed for restoration. Caravansaray on the opposite side causes a Multani. Caravansaray dates to 14th century, created by the traders who were coming from Multan city, Pakistan, before was functioning as a restaurant, now closed for restoration. If you can have a look to this painting, you can imagine how this location was looking in 14, 15 centuries. And usually this kind of uh, caravansaray started to appear on the territory of Azerbaijan after the relation with Shirvan Shahs and Asian countries started to develop. And these merchants and traders using the Silk Road started to come here for being able to buy the products like silk, salt, shafran, kerosene from the oil and also uh, carpets and also fruits on the way to Europe and in Europe to sell this product and they used to sell us spices from Asian countries but nowadays most of these buildings are uh, closed for restoration but after restoration they cannot function as a hotel building because the size of these caravansaray rooms usually 8-10 square meters without window in most cases if there is a window it is a very small window so that's why and also inside you cannot add private bathrooms so that's why this kind of building mostly function as a restaurant buildings or as a, a souvenir shop oil billionaire with the name of Isabel Hajinski this building was built by his relative who sent uh, to Europe uh, to learn architecture and he built this building as a mixture of the styles like gothic style mainly but with some art nouveau elements and with some uh, mosaics on the facade of the building you can see during the second world war inside of this building stayed Charles de Gaulle who was the leader of free France uh, movement division and after the second world war the building divided to apartments and given to Soviet professors and academicians to live inside so that's why if you can have a look there you can see some professors and academicians who used to live inside of this building but nowadays we have uh, mostly offices on this building because the location is so central but some houses are still existing inside of this building so from here you can take the view of the maiden tower and also if you want you can stay here yeah. On the background facade of this building, you can see some pigeon houses on the shape of the birds. Can you see yeah. this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because before on the facade of this building, we have had a lot of pigeons and inside of the sheet of these birds, we have acid which can destroy the stone. So that's why architect added these pigeon houses, trying to move them from here to there. But now they are using both of these buildings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> here are the bullet holes when the Soviet army came here. Against the protests, they started to shoot everywhere, so that's some of the bullet holes. And now the inside of the old city live 2,000 locals and maximum 10% of them are practicing Muslims, so that's why two functioning mosques are enough for this population of the old city. Is there any uh, stairs for climbing to the tower for the first level? I mean, uh, like stone stairs. If to climb to the first floor, from the first floor to the second floor also, we haven't had any stone stairs. Stone stairs are starting from the second floor and inside of all eight floors we have two open space projects. So if the princess would live in here she needs to use the road to climb into the first floor and to the second floor also and from the second floor princess could use these uh, uh, steps from the stone so that's why it's not such a, a logical uh, building for the princess and also inside of all flat, uh, floors we have full open space projects. Here and also on this part, if you can come here. Here we have the remaining of the Varsalamy Church, which was the church building which was destroyed during the Soviet Union period, which was looking like this oh. on this location. Yeah. Have a look here. Oh, wow. Because Soviet Union was at its state, so for them, uh, destruction of the, some kind of religious building was not so important. So that's why they destroyed these kind of buildings, as you can see from here. If you can have a look to that side, on that side we have had the building which was created as a Zoroastrian temple. But from 12th century, the area renovated as a bazaar square, and nowadays it is functioning as an open air museum. And in here, you can see uh, 52 part of graves, which some of them are hanging on the walls, and some of them are exhibiting on that part of the building and 
Uh, the area was found during the first excavation from 1969 together with this building which is the Hajabanu public bus which dates to 15th century public bus building which is functioning for now as a governmental handicraft center. Bansarai building which first floor created from 12th century, second floor added in 17th century. You can have a look to the size of the windows and not in all the rooms we have this kind of windows uh, as you can see in the building. Two stories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the first floor. Oh my gosh. But after going inside, there is one more floor because oh, okay. the relief is like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. Okay. But now it's not open, so that's why uh, we cannot go inside because it's rented to the business. From here, you can see Baku Kavya, where you can get the Kavya for 100 for the price of 219 What are these for? For ventilation? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. protecting the... Sort of something. You're not From here you can see the cover photo of our tour, but we have several cars in here, so that's why it's so empty. Let's just stop in here and have a look to this side. From here you can see the most famous mosque of the old city, which dates to 12th century, but during the earthquake, during the uh, attacks to the old city, the building was damaged. And the last time from 1899, because of the uh, charity of this building, like the renovation of this building, gave the charity Hajj Khalid Adash, who was famous as a Bajani merchant and trader. So that's why after his death, his grave was placed as a yard of the mosque, which is located on there. And nowadays it is functioning mosque. The size of the uh, uh, minaret and the shape of the minaret, you can see Shirvan Apshar and constructional style of the minaret, which used from 11 to 15 centuries after 15 centuries size of this minerals narrowed a little bit but the same shape saved because it is shia mosque azerbaijani mosque in almost 80 percent are shia 20 percent are sunnis if you can have a look to this side you can see on this hill the minaret narrow minaret come to this side please. Come, 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 come. Oh. <laughs> narrow Sorry. minaret up oh, the yeah, hill yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you see the no. Sunni mosque, which is the Turkish mosque, which was built uh, to the honor of the Turkish soldiers who came here to help us to get our first independence from uh, Russians from 1918. And nowadays it is functioning mosque building, uh, but during the Soviet Union period, the building was functioning as a carpet museum, trying to save the building from uh, destruction because uh, for the Soviet people it was uh, like for the Soviet Union, uh, all kind of religious buildings was not so important. Center, which is functioning as a restaurant building for now. So if you want, you can go have a look. You can go inside. Yeah. But a, a quick look you need to do. Yeah, yeah. But uh, before, if you can have a look here, from here you can see the property of Ghani Mamedov, who was famous as a Bajani silk merchant and trader who ordered to build this building as his mansion from 1907 to 1908. The date 1908, you can see at the right corner yes. of the building. And uh, from the Soviet Union period, the building was confiscated and the building functioned as a kindergarten building until 1985. And after that, the building stopped functioning and nowadays it is belonging to Azerbaijani government, so it is governmental problem. <laughs> for several times renovated when the old city was attacked from the ship they 
hit the minaret and the minaret was damaged but it was not fallen so that's why it was started to call as a uh, damaged tower mm. uh, and this uh, mosque was located on this location more than 100 years before the creation of the old city as a uh, uh, proper city of the Shirvan Shah, as a capital city of the Shirvan Shah. So when the city was not existed in here, just few houses for the farmers were located in here. This building was one of the few buildings which is located on the territory of Baku city. And the most ancient functioning mosque on the territory of Azerbaijan located in Shamahu, which is called as a Shamahu Juma Mosque, which dates to 743. And Islam came to this land from 651. Okay. And if you can have a look to the size and the shape of the minaret in here, you can see again the style of Shirvan Apsharan construction of, uh, style. If you are interested in jazz, you can search his. Uh, name on the YouTube and listen his music with the names of Buckle Nights and Buckle Lights. Usually this kind of music you can listen in some luxury hotels or restaurants because according to the researchers, the classical and also jazz music helping you to relax and to forget how much you will pay for this kind of luxury places. That's why. One more function must of the old city, which called is the Imam al which is the 17th century and which is nowadays uh, functioning as a mass building, but only four men and chance for the building is from here. The building was down without mineral and the functioning mass as you can see from here. Yeah. And if you can have a look to the right side in here, you can see the profit of Ramazanov's family, which was created as a multi purpose property. Like first floor of the building created as a cinema, second floor as a jeweler house, third and fourth floor used as a guest house. But during the Soviet Union period, the building divided to apartments and given to Soviet people. To live inside and after getting independence these people got the right to privatize these houses so that's why nowadays inside of this building live locals. Now we can go to the picture, okay? From this gate you can go to Salyan City, Azerbaijan which is approximately 200 kilometers. from bronze material and on the shape of the cones of the tree. If you can have a look to the monument's head, you can see some characters which, which he used inside of his novels. Oh, from here oh, you can wow. see. That's really good. And also, he was the man who uh, translated the poems of Azerbaijan and poets and writers and also who was the uh, famous uh, representatives of the Meikhana, which was kind of freestyle web. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but it's Azerbaijani style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is different style, right? <laughs> so you can turn, uh, uh, walk around the monument. Embassy building, so it's not allowed to take a lot of videos. This one not that allowed. <laughs> and on the right side in here, we have the Jin Mosque, which is also a small yard mosque, which is not functioning, which dates to 17, 14 centuries. But if you can have a look here, you can see the mulberry trees for feeding the silk worms, for making the silk uh, scarves or silk uh, textiles. On the right side, you can see the Queen's tree. And in here you can see palm tree. Our first palm tree gifted our uh, socialist brother with the name of uh, Fidel Castro. And uh, a lot of local people waited to get any bananas or tacos from this tree. But after waiting for years, we realized that. These are small ones for sale. Yeah, a gold one. A gold? Yeah. A Музей 
То есть разница в 20 лет почти. И то есть она of Fidel Castro and also book about the Raul Castro and books which was printed in Azerbaijan you can see it here. On this section you can see uh, rare books and microscopic books. From these books, uh, book of the Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin about the captain's daughter and also you can see Lermontov book, book uh, of the history of the England from 1815 and also if you can come closer, just come closer. On this white container, you can see three books with the size of five, six, seven millimeters. So, and in here. And smallest book inside of the collection of the museum, just behind of the dot shape inside of this blue box, with the size of 0 0.75 to 0 0.75. <laughs> the book Four Seasons, which is printed in Japan in the world, 250 samples, it is 174 samples. So, laser print. So if you stop in here and have a look to this side, from here you can see seven teacups, which can look for you just as an art, but uh, we have had Azerbaijani tea maker from Lankaran from 1976 who used to carry these teacups on his hand, showing his professions in tea making. So that's why this monument created in here but on that page we haven't had Instagram so that's why we couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> here we have the Shah's mask. Palace members and Shah's were playing inside of this building. Here we have Shah's family members grave and here we have private bathroom of the palace. And this is the back gate of the palace which causes the Ottoman Sultan Murat's uh, gate because Ottoman Sultan Murat III visited the palace using this back gate. And also if you can have a look here on that area at the backyard of the palace you can see some stones which was uh, bring from inside of the Caspian Sea during the Soviet Union period because on that period we have had an earthquake and as a result of that earthquake second defense tower of Baku city which was called as a Sabayil tower which was built in 1234 by Azerbaijani architect Zeyn al-Din Shirvani was totally destroyed unfortunately so some stones was able to bring and now these stones are exhibiting in the backyard of the palace. The museum is working every day up to 7 p.m. until the end of October and Monday is also working. Most of the museums in Azerbaijan are not working on Monday. And now we can climb from here and have a look to the view of uh, the city from here. And it costs uh, 15 manat per person, uh, not for kids, like uh, for adults, I mean. And uh, the only uh, recommended building to visit inside of the old city. Okay. Uh, we can climb, just go. Что надо только ты скажи? If to have a look like this, you can see woman body. Can you see the woman body? If to have a look like this. You can see wine glass oh, yeah, yeah. from the eyes. From here and here, you can see signage of the painter. Cool painting looks as a line. If you can have a look like this, you can see a tiger. 
and from different angles you can see the wolf also. Mm. That's why it's called as a trinity because several different paintings. Yeah. From here you can see the last defense tower of Avatur which calls us a quadrangular tower. Inside of the old city we have had two def oh, cool. but in total for the defense of the old city we have had three defense towers. Uh, Quadrangular Tower, Maiden Tower, and Sabayal Tower. So that's why the symbol of Baku city created consisting of three flames, which was looking like this. Okay. Ah. And according to these flames, the flame towers created as a three part of building. Ah. Oh. 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 <laughs> one more time, one more time. Oh. <laughs> oh. It is a secret information. <laughs> 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 From here we are going